What is going on, Loud and Proud Crowd? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. So we're actually here with Jeshua again, right here. He actually just got the truck started yesterday. I helped him get it started by cracking the injectors, pushing all the fuel, getting the air out of the lines, because it ran a little bit low on fuel going uphill, choked it out, and so he wasn't really sure on what to do with it, and totally blanked my mind to tell him to crack the injectors. So I come over and like, crack the injectors and try to crank it over to get the fuel to push the air out. He's like, no. I'm like, oops, my bad. <laughs> so we came over, we got it done, and the truck is alive for the first time in like three weeks. So we're gonna get in this truck, head on down the road, and we're also gonna be trying to fix something on wherever that other Chevy is from the other video, previous one, try to pull a dent out of it. Board. $11 dent puller. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Probably so here's the dent, good look at it. It is pretty Woo. deep. It is in wow. the corner of the cab. That is, and it is very close to the corner of the cab, and there's a little ding right here, so we're gonna see if that dent puller does magic or not. $10 dent puller. And we're gonna see if it actually some of it. Do do above it and below it and see what happens. Ugh. Get below it now. Get below it. Oh, it's, got, it's got to get a good grip. It's got that crease there. Ugh. It's well. like not grabbing at all though. Hmm. It must be just uneven enough. You would think. There we go. Oh. It Did almost it pulled it back in. I was leaning my whole body on that one. So I think one of the keys is you want to um, push it in as hard as you can, and then close the grip. Yeah. Except yeah. for see, like see, like that. Like otherwise, it doesn't grab it all the way. Just when you feel this, it's harder to close. Then you know you got it. Well, I'm trying to just plunge it off, but I'm thinking. I mean, we got this whole top part to come out for the most part. Is it the water? What's your review on the whole dent puller, Jesh? Uh, I think it's pretty good for a regular dents. It's pretty good for dents that aren't by corners, would you say? Yeah, if it's not near any edges and it's in the middle of a panel, you can get it out. Yeah. And there's no like crease in it. Yeah, no creases in the panel. For dents that are pushed in, they can be pulled out. But some of these, like the ones on my first gen, you're gonna need to weld a rod to them and smack them out. Because there's a little bit, there's just a little bit too tight of a dent for a dent puller to get a good grab on it. But anyway, so he's got to actually do some brake work on this with just bleeding the lines a little bit. Because what's it doing? Go to the floor almost? Yeah, it started having this problem in like November. So there's an air leak somewhere. Somewhere air's getting in. So he's gonna fix the air leak. Make her good as new. Come on up. Come on up. Okay, so Jeshua had to run real quick, run his puppy to the vet, because he thinks there's a chance she may have taken a couple licks of brake fluid. So you had to rush her to the vet just in case. She actually did, but they're still not sure. But anyway, so we got these tail lights here, and they shouldn't be hard to install. They should be pretty easy, but I went to go install them, and it was a little adapter to some LEDs that were in the other set. So I'm swapping them out with these, because it was little like a little LED wire that came to brighten up LEDs. LEDs that were like mounted inside the housing not like a bulb so we got these and hopefully these are sufficient and they meet the needs so we can get these all hooked up Well, we got the tail lights installed on the truck, and I gotta say, they look really, really good. I haven't turned them on yet, but you can see how they look. They look almost completely black from the outside, but if you look really close, I don't know if you can see, but you can kind of see the white in there, and it kind of makes the shape of the LED. So I'm actually gonna turn these rear lights on and uh, see first off if you guys can see how bright the reverse lights are, then also the shape of the actual LEDs in there. 
Okay, we're all back in business. It was just a loose connection on that uh, wiring harness going into that main part of the tail light. Just wasn't clipped in all the way. We're good now, and it looks. It actually looks really, really good. Now I'm gonna put the reverse lights on and see how bright those are. Well, I couldn't see the reverse lights for myself, but my wife Reagan saw them and she said they were bright. So anyways, overall though, I like the look of these tail lights. Pretty nice, pretty nice. It's almost like a full black look, but then you can actually fully see the whole design of the tail light once the lights are actually on and it's actually really crisp and clear looking. So Jesha was actually pulling back up right now. Well, they got their puppy back and apparently she's gonna be just fine. Not really a whole big of deal. They said she really didn't consume any and she's gonna be okay. But anyways, so. So Jeshua and I just got done. He tried to bleed his brakes and then he bled his brakes and they realized that he was actually out of brake fluid. <laughs> so. So then when I bled them, now they're full of air again. I bled them out. I bled it all out. So I'll just have to do it again another time. It's pretty easy. Yeah. When it's full. But we got stopped because my dog licked up the dot three brake fluid and then it's apparently extremely toxic So I took her to the vet and spent $90 on some subcutaneous fluids and stuff I'm like oh, yeah, she'll be fine <laughs> <laughs> hey, And I've tried to make her puke at home and she probably hates me, but oh well better better alive than dead No yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> she found, She's got a muffin so she doesn't want to be on camera right now. What do you think about them tail lights? Awesome. You just put them in just put them on yeah Wow, that was quick. I went to AutoZone when you guys were at the vet and got LED reverse lights too. Nice. But they look That looks awesome. Better. That looks great, yeah. Looks really good. It was like this whole spot. I was telling her that we dented the side of that truck and I was like, yeah. I took my camera and the first thing I said in my intro was like, I'm gonna take this just in case something bad happens <laughs> or we can get some good content. Two minutes into it, bam! In the video, I was like, ah, I think he got close to that tree. I'm like, dude, you were so close. You're like, no, I nailed it. Yeah. I'm like, really? You're like, yep, whole side just dented. <laughs> I was like, oh. I thought it was the bed. It only hit here and it didn't drag across the whole back. But anyways, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. Hopefully you guys like the taillights on this truck. Do not forget, every $5 is 10 entries to win that truck and it ends January 21st. That's this month and it's coming up quick. So get entered while you can. Every $5 is 10 entries, the entire giveaway, you know, beginning to end. No surprises. Anyways, guys, thank you so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.